My name is James Ambrose and I'm Commercial and Technical Manager for Filio UK in Ireland. Grazed grass is a fantastic feed resource for dairy cows and has the capability to support high levels of milk production and strong yields of protein. High sugar content within grazed grass coupled with the relatively low structural fibre levels can challenge rumen function and lean predispose the animal to an issue called subacute rumen acidosis which can promote lower levels of milk solids as well as reduced fertility. A typical early warning that SARA may be an issue within your herd is when cows are grazing lush leafy swards and butter fat levels drop fairly rapidly over the course of two or three days. It's vitally important that farmers also pay close attention to what cows are telling them. One key indication that SARA may be an issue within the herd is when cows are producing loose dung with gas bubbles present and also where undigested fibres are present within the dung. A good indication of optimal rumen function for cows at grass is cutting rates. Ideally we want to see greater than 60% of the herd lying down chewing the cud at 12 or 1 o'clock in the day and the remainder of the herd to be grazing vigorously for drinking water. Another key parameter to assess for cows at grass is to monitor rumen fill which can be assessed by standing at the back of the cow and observing the triangular area to the left hand side under the hook bone and ideally before milking we want to see this area full out as an indication of good grass intakes and optimum rumen function. Feeding active sap live yeast to grazing dairy cows can enhance rumen function and minimise the threat of SARA. Active sap stabilises rumen pH and enhances the digestion of grass thereby leading to the production of more energy which supports stronger milk yields, milk solid yields and fertility.